Hello everybody and welcome back to Erratus Lord of the Dead. Robert Rambles here and thank you so much for joining me today. We have our squad put together and unless there's anything to do in our graveyard, which there's not, uh, we are good to set back out here. It's been a little while since I played so hopefully I'm not too rusty. And here we're either going to level up our squaddies or we are going to give Erratus some experience. I think I'm going to give Erratus the experience this time. Just so we can get the more brains talent that we've been heading towards. So let's take our group number one. At the same time, I might be able to just boost these guys a level. So it's kind of tough. I think I'm going to go with the talent point here. And we're going to go ahead and grab... Gray Matter, which will increase the chance of receiving a brain at the end of battle by 50%, which is a pretty darn high percentage chance, so... That'll help us when we need to start replacing people in the late game, when we start losing more and more. We've already lost a couple of guys. So that being said, let's get going here. We're gonna have an elite to face in this battle, and we know the Doomsayer has to die really quick as well. I kind of wish I had a Banshee to take out for this one, but we'll see. A miss and a ward? I'll take that. Uh, you have armor, and you have armor, and you have armor. So much armor to eat through. Let's start working on this Elite. We're going to want him to die as quickly as the Doomsayer, so... They are just pounding into our Dark Knight. Uh, for this, we're going to go with Shrapnel and just hope that he hits anybody, basically. I hope it eats through a ward here would be nice. Why did he hit... Okay. We must have taken the talent that changed his ability, because he actually hit our first row. I'll have to take a look at that. Uh, he might be out. He might be out of our rotation, if that's the case. I'm gonna keep working on this guy, since we've already got him down past half health. Not sure why she gets to take a second turn, that's a little bit odd. I'm gonna save the rage for our Dark Knight to get his health back, and I'm just gonna keep attacking single target on this guy. Let's see if we can finish him off, that'd be great. One there we go. Vanishes from this world. She seemed to take initiative and get a second attack for some reason. I've never seen a bride do that before, so maybe it's a change that was made? Yep, every attack is a crit that hits. Someone's a skeleton. Okay, let's have him do this and get his health back. And then we might focus on the Doomsayer. We want him back up front. At least we ate that block. I would have rather gotten the block off of him. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the crit to all. And hopefully I don't regret that and lose the Dark Knight as a consequence. Which I might at this point because of this. Uh, let's go ahead and boost somebody's attack. That is something he could be useful for. But then what's going to happen is he's going to move back and that person's going to move forward one. It might just screw us up. Two random enemies and an ally on the first position. Yeah, so that change we made, it made it so it attacks two of these guys, but it also hits our first position unit. Not very ideal, so I don't think I'll be bringing this guy again, unfortunately, because as you can see, not very useful. Not very useful at all. Now that's gonna leave a mark. Uh, 
Uh, what I do, I want to finish this guy off. But I also want to get through this guy's block, so I'm going to do that first. So that he can take some damage from our Dark Knight as well. And then I'm going to do this. As worthless as you and finish that guy off. You will be worth something in death. <sighs> yep. And then we're just going to hope for the best. I don't want to do any of this. With this ability hitting our own guys, it's be he's become basically useless to me. So we'll just, uh... We'll just do that. Maybe he'll go insane. Yeah, there we go. That's about as helpful as it gets at the moment. We definitely need some health back. Our skeleton, we're gonna lose another skeleton here is my fear, so... That's my fear. And this guy kind of being useless makes it harder to counter. Maybe we could just make him explode with a heart attack or something. Okay, he skipped a turn. That actually works out for us splendidly. We might not lose our skeleton after all, guys. Whew, super excited about that. And we got another level. And we got a level 2 brain, so there we go. If we need another unit, we can make one and get him right to level 2. Speaking of level 2, our replacement bone golem is now level 2. So we'll want to take him out and get him some experience. Let's grab him the accuracy. Let's swap them out, like so. It might not be a bad idea to get another Dark Knight at level 2. Because our guys are just... They are low on health. Much lower than I would prefer them be. I'm gonna go, uh, uh, well... I'm gonna get the attack and the dread for her. And this is going to have... That's going to ignore Ward now as well, so... This guy is on, like, permanent hiatus over here. Do I need him for any kind of sacrifices, or can he mana building somewhere? Eventually, this guy is going to have to just mana building for us. Ooh. We need to get on... We need to get on building some of these. I need a Dark Knight for sure for more experience. Okay. Hardly an inspiring leader, but the dead cannot. Let's do two of them. Because that's what we're going to need. Because I'm going to use one. And I'm going to boost him. Unfortunately, just the one level. And we'll grab My the attack power. And then we're going to toss the other to the library. How unfortunate that I need to rely on mortal knowledge to recover my powers. It's akin to trying to quell hunger with breadcrumbs. Hey, we could throw this guy in here. Now we could staff this with two people, and after victory, he's, Aratus is going to gain even more experience. The thing is, they're not going to heal while they're in there, so we'll be putting extras in there. And we might need to take them out for battle to keep them rotated into battle. So we might just need to make some more units. We will see how that goes. I don't know that we have anybody who's going to benefit from this. But we do need somebody in here. Let's put our skeleton in here, even though I'm hoping this guy will be ready to tank by the time we finish the next fight. We'll see how this goes. I'm not super confident with this group because, to be honest, they're kind of a low level. Uh, no elites here, though, so that's good. Let's see how it goes. So basically, everybody has to die super fast. I'm going to have her power up. 
and give her a plus four to attack for the rest of combat. I like having the Bone Golem along when we're facing off against a lot of DPS because he can heal himself, he can put a physical ward on others. Um, but we're going to have to start eating through some of this armor now, so... Let's get to that. I think it's also going to help us that we brought along our Banshee because she's going to be able to reduce all their attack power. Like so, and eventually maybe cause some of them to go insane. Also, always good. Right away, I'm going to go ahead and toss a shield up on our Banshee. Because she has the least amount of... Ouch. I was going to say she had the least amount of health and I don't want to lose her. But that's fine because we'll probably have him heal, I guess. He could heal himself. Not too worried there. Let's keep this going. We're getting hit and we have a full rage bar. That's really annoying to me. Because it means we're just missing out on rage. That we could be building up. I'm gonna go after, uh, well, I, I really ought to heal. He can't move forward any more than he already is. That'll tick him off. Start putting some damage into this guy. We gotta start getting some heavy damage out quick. Let's do it. The loss of sanity should work well with her her ability to reduce all of their sanity. I'm just not too hot about all the block the rest of these guys have going on. Let's go ahead and take out this guy's block next. This is basically all I have uh, the Banshee do when I bring a Banshee with me, to be honest. Oh, that's a big miss. Can't really afford that right now, Bone Golem. Can't really afford that right now. That, that balances it out a little bit when they when they miss. Uh, this guy now, after taking damage, the swordsman counterattacks, dealing 125% damage to the minion who damaged them. So we're not going to attack this guy. I mean, I guess until he comes out of this stance, which who knows when that's going to be. Can we attack the guy behind him? I hope so. No, we get redirected, and then we get our ass handed to us. Very, very upsetting. Well, have this. My darling, kill. Oh, I can't believe that triggered that, but it did. But luckily he missed. I didn't think that was going to trigger it. We're going to lose this Dark Knight. Um, unless... Unless this helps. I mean, we could do this and hope for the best. Is about all we can do at this point. Now, if she does this to him, is he going to attack her? I'd really rather he didn't, but I need all their attack reduced. He's insane. Yeah, she, he definitely went for her. He's insane, so that's going to help us out a lot. Maybe he'll like attack one of his own men. I love it when that happens. Oh, so lucky. Although he does have that war. There's no magic users thankfully, so he, he might be okay if I can get a heal on him. Which we're gonna do. We're gonna do right now, as a matter of fact. And we actually finished somebody off in the process, so that's even better. Oh my god. He was attacking them for so little, and he's been critting the Dark Knight like a madman. We gotta finish this guy. Let's just get rid of him. Because crits are not going to be stopped by our blocks, so crit is what we cannot afford right now. Finally, a hit. Okay. I think we're going to keep our Dark Knight somehow. I don't know how, but I think he's going to live, guys. We did it. A sad display of We did it. Uh, what did we get, Mimir? We'll have to check that out. No brains, unfortunately, no brains. 
Need more brains. Okay, we've got some people really wounded. We need to get this going to have uh, more space in our mortuary. We have to make a wraith. Let's make sure we don't use any of our good items since we're the just going to toss this guy away, basically. Let's hope there was no fine print. So we can do this. I think we're going to... Infuse. If we can, I think we're going to open up the third slot as well. Let's go ahead and take a look. Ah, uh, we can. So let's let's do that. We are much alike, you and I. Revenge is what drives us. This is going to be really important. We need to be able to put at least three people in here, and we have the resources because we've kind of been holding off on building anything else. This is going to be critical that we have all these slots open because look at now we have. Not really, uh, we don't really have a proper tank ready. Like, I'd rather the tank be at full health. I mean, we can get him back to full pretty quickly uh, with the ability. So, actually, I'm going to bring him. Um, And I'm going to bring her, but that's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Um, So, I need to be able to heal more people. So, this is good. Um, I've, I don't have ghouls unlocked. So, we might be, unless we unlock ghouls, we might be stuck at the three open spots. Uh, this is leaving us kind of bare on minions, so I'm going to take a look and just see we're probably, we're going to need a couple of things, actually. We might want to look at uh, getting a mummy. What I really need is something that could work from that third slot. I like that he has a physical attack from the third position. Impending doom, stress attack to the first two that's he could do that in any position but then it moves him forward which is going to move him out of range to do this same thing here removes debuffs he gains he can heal himself but he moves back this he can only at yeah see he, it's hard to keep him where he needs to be to do anything specific i wonder if the trick is to purposely move him around Easier to make my enemies unlucky. Maybe we'll maybe we'll play around with one in that third slot and see if it's useful at all. We could pair it with something like a bone golem that can also do some movement related things, so it could be good and we'll check out the alternate look for it. Let's try I wish we had a brain for him, but uh, we don't, so that simply is what it is. I think we're gonna end up going like that actually. Just to keep it on the safer side of things, let's give him this uh, plus evasion weapon. And he's also got our armor spikes, so that's good. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, we'll take a little break here, and when we come back, we'll be going up against this group, which doesn't look too bad, except I think these rogues all have Sinister Strike, so that could really kick our butts. And we're going to have to take out that Doomsayer right away. Uh, and from there, we can only go north, so we can't actually, we can't go, we can't backtrack, so there's no going down that way. We're going up here. Yeah, we're going up here, and I don't know if it's going to let us take the long way around. If I have the choice uh, to keep going, I'm going to loop around just for the experience gain. I don't think I want to go right from here to the boss, if we can avoid it, uh, but we'll see. What is this? This is so I've I've done through the mercenary barracks. I've never read this detail here, so this might be a build uh, something to do with the build we're in. An event requiring the participation of Aratus himself or the current battle group. That's I wonder what that's actually. Yeah, might just be a bug. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Hope you guys are liking the series. Let me know what you think below in the comments and take care. We'll see you again real soon.